Hello and welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. In this video, we will be creating a set of four beautiful coasters. Shows. This gives you some funky abstract vibes, and we are sure you can spot the amazing different layers as well. We also have a DIY kit available in which you will get the following items a set of four round coasters a bottle of microfine glitter powder beautiful faces transfer me my doodling transfer me play tiles hash one transfer me lace collection hash two transfer me and lastly sentiment transfer me to book your kits and to know more details about the same check the description below Apart this, you will be needing few basic supplies such as paper trimmer, precision scissors, silicone spatula brush, a bowl of water, round paint brush, sponge, water brush pen, black chalk paint, white chalk paint, two small dishes, sponge dabo, a flat brush, another round brush for painting, thin round brush for splatters, sponge emery or a sanding block. Resin and hardener, a cup and a stick to mix the resin, and lastly some tissue. So let's first start with painting the coasters. With the tissue, wipe off any dust on the coasters, and then apply a thin coat of white chalk paint on one side of the coaster with the help of a flat brush. Repeat the same for all of the coasters and keep them aside to dry. Now, for the second coat, use a sponge job of for even application do it for all the coasters and dry them completely on to the back side apply black chalk paint using sponge dauber as we will only do one coat for it repeat for the remaining three coasters as well lastly don't forget to cover the edges for the finished look use either a sponge dauber or a thin paint brush for application once all four coasters are covered, leave them aside to dry. Afterwards, you may use a sanding block to smoothen the top surface for all coasters and dust off the extra paint. Moving forward, take the play tiles hash one transfer and dress my craft paper trimmer. Cut separate all the square tiles as shown. Pick any four designs as per your liking. Here we are choosing these. Next, take beautiful faces transfer me and take out the following elements we are pointing out. Or you may pick as per your liking. From the lace collection hash to transfer me, pick any four different laces. From my doodling transfer me, take the following designs. And lastly, pick any four small sentiments from the sentiment transfer me. Fussy cut all the shown elements using pushes and scissors. Now because the elements in my doodling transfer me are all merged up, so for your ease we are showing here from which section we have taken out the respective elements. I hope this helps. Now let's have a combined look at all the different elements. These are unique designs and we are going to have fun creating them. Are all elements taken out for our first coaster? Here's for the second coaster. This is the third coaster for you. And, and then this is the fourth and the last one. And that is it. Now let's begin with the base transfer me, which is plate tiles. Remove the protective film from the top and stick it upside down. Then using pushes and scissors, chop off the extra transfer which is hanging out. Okay, so it's done. Now similarly add the remaining tile pan transfer me on their respective coaster bases. Thank you. 
Now add a generous amount of water on top to activate the transfer using a sponge. Soak extra water with the tissue to remove any air bubbles. Underneath, use our silicone spatula brush and then remove the backing and our beautiful bases are done. Revealing the transfers is the most exciting part ever and it's also very satisfying, isn't For it? For the second layer, we will be adding these beautiful laces. Keep the coasters in the same orientation as we are doing and add the laces to the top of each coaster, touching, touching the edge as shown. To avoid any wastage here, we are working with the full laces, sticking them in place and then cutting off the extra. And we recommend you doing the same as well. And save the remaining for your any other project. Also, while sticking the transfer, make sure to hold it from one edge to avoid getting it stuck to your finger. Quickly flatten them with spatula brush. Now apply water onto the transfer me. Soak any extra water with the tissue. Then use spatula brush to release any air bubbles and it's done. Before we do the third layer of transfer me, we have to tone down the background pattern a bit from few areas because we want our characters to pop up right so to do that we will use white chalk paint and apply it differently on each coaster using a thick round brush to know where to add the paint you may arrange the elements first and mark the areas on each coaster now hold the brush from above to get rough brush strokes to blend the brush strokes well in the background, wrap a wet tissue around your finger and wipe over the end strokes lightly. Repeat this step until the background is nicely covered. For the second coaster, we will apply paint over the bottom left corner and the top right corner. For the third coaster, we will cover mainly the middle area as shown. Also go a little bit over the bottom left area where we added the lace. For the last one, we will cover the middle as well as the bottom left corner. Once dried, let's move forward and add the third layer which is doodling elements on each coaster. For first coaster, add lines designed to top left corner and transfer it. Do use spatula brush to ensure that the transfer is secured. Take the second coaster. We will add the beautiful flower on the top left edge upside down as shown. Apply water on it nicely and then remove the backing sheet. Take the third coaster, add the long flowers, one on the left side touching the lace design and other one on the right side. Ensure the right placement, you may place the character and take reference from it. Chop off extra and reuse it somewhere else. Now add water and transfer it. Lastly, for the fourth coaster, 
we will add the flower transfers on the left and the right side as shown in the video. Now, for the fourth layer, we will add the main character transfers. On first coaster, we will add these two. First, place them and see how they are overlapping with the previous layers. If you if you see that any element is coming over them, then erase it by applying some extra white paint to it and then do the transfer me as usual. Adding the girl character first on the, onto the right side, then add the tiny heart onto the right side as well. Now transfer both the elements by applying water onto them. Wow, this girl looks so beautiful on this background, isn't it? Now quickly add the face to the bottom left edge as shown along with the sentiment onto the right side. Apply water using a brush and then use spatula brush to remove any air bubbles. And with this, our first coaster is done. Moving forward, for the second one, we'll add the girl face onto the bottom left area. Then the boy face onto the top right area along with the shirt underneath. Then Add the flowers randomly here and there to fill the empty spaces onto the coasters. Then add generous amount of water. Remove the backings. Lastly, add the sentiment as shown and transfer it as well. In the third coaster, we have added the girl character in the center area of the coaster. And then adding the hearts here and there to fill the spaces. Apply water to activate the transfer and remove the backings and it's done. Now for the last one we will add the girl character because now because it is overlapping the flowers. We we will tone it down and then transfer it in place. Now add the flowers to fill the empty spaces. We will add the sentiment onto the left side and now adding water and transferring them all. Now it's time to add some white and black splatters onto them to make them look more beautiful and to fill any of the white spaces which are showing. So we are randomly adding the splatters here and there and then leaving it to dry. And finally, here they are, all done and ready to take the raisin bath. Yes, now here we are sealing these coasters with raisin because the, this increases the shelf life of the coasters actually and make them washable. But if you do not want to do the raisin, you may use a um, Mod Podge dishwasher safe or any good varnish to seal the transfers. Sealing is a very important step, so make sure that you do not miss on it. Here we are simply pouring the raisin in on top of the coasters and spreading it evenly with a stick 
as shown and we're doing it for all of the coasters and then keeping them aside to dry note that resin takes time to settle so we will keep them uh, at least for 24 hours to dry completely and we're not touching it before that result look how gorgeous these coasters have turned out oh my god totally love the shine on them we hope that you have gotten the same results and we are waiting to see what you have made so don't forget to share it with us via our social media and if you have any questions feel free to comment below for the product details and to book your kits check the description below so that's it this is it for the class. Thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and happy crafting.